Well, I want to wish you all a happy Easter. Spring is in full swing here in Central Texas. You can see how the grass is really starting to come on. We're a little bit shy on rain. We're about three to four inches behind for this time of year. But the grass is doing okay. It's coming along reasonably well. So I just wanted to show you some real beautiful green. I love green. That's my favorite color. No question. Just because it's the color of grass. And I'm going to talk to you today about water for the cattle. And I had a trough that is under some fairly good sized trees and the leaves from these oaks and elm trees tend to fall into this water trough and you can see this water's green and nasty the cattle aren't in here currently but I don't like this at all and I've been scooping these leaves out and you can see the leaves here on the ground beside the trough and I got this trough it's a thousand gallon gallon trough sitting on a gravel pad and the nice thing about this country where I'm at is that this sandy loam soil does not get muddy but they will dig a hole around this trough if you just have the sand I've had this trough sitting on this gravel pad for about a year and a half now and you can see it's in good shape still I usually put my mineral feeder over here. Um, I don't put it at the far side of the pasture just because I have a salt block in there as well, which they don't tend to utilize too much, but I want them close to water. So maybe a few differences of opinion on where to put that to utilize your pasture best, but that's what I do. So I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna do in an attempt to get palatable drinking water for these cattle. So hold on. So using a net or something would be a lot more efficient, but you can see these leaves here, just regular old oak leaves, and they're getting quite a bit of algae on them. So I just scoop them out, a little bit time consuming. Um, I don't have this trouble on all my troughs, but I certainly have it on a little trouble on, on some of them. So. I won't bore you with this, but I'm going to scoop most of these leaves out. I don't want to drain the tank just because I don't care to waste the water. Um, and I think I can get this water clean. We're going to all see. Um, I think I can get this water clean with using bleach. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. And I'm going to learn as I go. Hopefully you'll learn along with me and or give me suggestions. So I'm going to continue this little project here for a few minutes and then I'll catch up with you here in just a minute. So you can see I've got the lion's share of those leaves off of this tank. There's some more that could come, but they're pretty fine. And my suspicion is that they will start to um, auto digest. We'll see. So I looked online, I didn't know much um, other than I've always known that bleach is a good disinfectant. And I found out that regular old unscented bleach is very useful to disinfect water troughs and whatnot. And the recommendation is that you want to put in um, two to three ounces per 50 gallons of water. So this is a um, thousand gallon tank and you do the math. Um, I'm going to be conservative and only put two ounces in for 50 gallons of water. So you do the math. That's 20, um, 50, a thousand divided by 50 is 20. And we're going to put in two ounces um, per 50 gallons, so 20 times 
two is 40 ounces. So I've got a measuring cup here that I use and it holds 16 ounces. So I'm going to put in two of those, which will be 32 ounces. And then I'll add eight more. So here's 16 ounces. Here's 32 ounces. And then here's eight more. So we're going to put in 40 ounces in this 1,000 gallon tank, a little bit more than eight. And we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm not going to put the cattle over in this area for another few days. So I'll have time to monitor this and just kind of look at the clarity and scoop out any more leaves that I need to scoop out. Um, not a perfect solution probably and I probably should drain this tank and really scrub it and clean it but again I don't want to waste the water and I want to see what this will do the other option that I'm working on is to take little um, con chlorine containers that you put in your swimming pool and I'm going to show you that next so the other thing I'm going to try is I ordered these chemical dispensers for chlorine for, for swimming pools. These things are like $3.99 a piece. And I got one for every trough. And you screw off the lid, you put some chlorine tablets in there. And then you uh, regulate how much chlorine is going to ooze out of there via this nozzle here, or this, this little um, stop. And so I can cut it almost clear off where there's just a little bit going to mix and ooze out with the water. I can go to one notch, two notch, or full bore, three or four notches. And I don't know which one's the right one. Um, I'll probably just put one or two chlorine tablets in here at a time. The chlorine I ordered is on back order, and so... Um, We'll see when it gets here, but basically you're going to drop the chlorine in, screw this to where you think. I'll probably start it at one opening, and the, there's an opening on either side, so it uh, equates to two openings when you dial it to the one. And then you just drop it in the water, and with the chlorine in it, actually got to get it, it's got to fill with water then it's going to float just like it would in your swimming pool. And that thing's constructed such that I don't think a cow can grab it and pull it out. We'll see. Um, it should just float around, do its thing, and help purify this water. So that's my goal is to try to help my water palatability and not have these cows have to drink junk. Um, as you know, most of any living being's body is water, so water is exceedingly important. And I'm going to make a concerted effort this year to try to uh, provide good, clean, palatable water for my cattle. So I hope that helps. Um, I'll give you updates as we go. Um, they'll show up in my Tidbits um, playlist. So Every once in a while when I've talked about something and then I go back to uh, finish that off and give you the answers that hopefully will help you in your operation. Then um, obviously I've, if, if you miss the feed when I post these videos, look in the playlist section and it'll be under my tidbits uh, playlist. So with that, uh, again, I bid you a happy Easter and... I thank you so much for riding along with me on the journey uh, into regenerative ranching. Have a great day.